Hey guys, we are back at Bells Lane. Uh, so, quick update. All the scaffolding is being put up and the ceiling in the roof has been taken down. Uh, so that started. So there's been uh, a bit of a delay with this one. Um, we had to make a decision on what to do with the roof and then had to get some quotes, uh, get some plans, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then obviously hire the scaffolding, skip and all that sort of stuff, uh, which takes a bit of coordinating. But anyway, so uh, let's quickly walk through it. Uh, the, the downstairs, uh, not much has changed, but it's very tidy. Uh, okay, so let's look at the back. Back's quite nice, so that's all the scaffolding work. Back there. Uh, a lot of the work is obviously upstairs, which we'll get to shortly. Um, yeah, so with this one, I'm still quite undecided as to what to do uh, with regards to the um, the final product, so for, for example, um, what's my, I mean, are we going to flip it as a four bed or two bath or are we going to rent it out? Um, I mean really you should know what the, the exit is, but uh, I'm of the personal opinion that actually um, if you provide a good product, uh, you know, like a really good quality product, it shouldn't really matter if it's for a rental or if it's for a flip. Um, as long as your figures stack up. So we, we got this at 182, I think. We're spending quite a bit on it. I think we're spending about 75. Um, turn it into a four bed now. Um, but if you, so based on those figures, is six months ago when we stacked it, that's quite expensive. But now, actually that's quite cheap for a four bed uh, in this day and age. Uh, and then the rent, for example, I'd expect about 16, 1700. And that's just how property is, you know, I didn't stack it at the time based on these figures, based on these plans, but property is so forgiving that actually if you buy the right property, and this is why it's important to buy the right, buy the right property, if there's anything like this that can go wrong, it's fine. The property itself can support the changes in the plans. Uh, that's really why I don't buy two beds, to be honest you. Okay, so let's go through this. This is the three. It's just that, you know, if you buy a large house, uh, buy at a good price because it's got so many options and if anything goes wrong we'll just do something else with it uh, as we're doing here okay guys one second so guys i'm just going to record uh, i'm just recording great okay so this is and then uh okay so as you can see the roof is completely exposed yeah. And that's it. So let's walk back downstairs. And so I'm not worrying. Well, that's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So uh, I think apparently this should take about, oh, I'd imagine, I think we've got quoted two months on this. So I'm going to give it two and a half, maybe three months. And to do all that, we should have uh, two, three new rooms two uh, bedrooms and a bathroom uh, and during sort of the last the last month so about a month's time then Gavin will come back and he'll carry on doing the rest of the house uh, he's currently at one of our other projects right now doing that one all right uh, yeah lots of progress actually first time I've uh, seen this uh, this last cool see ya